Pikachu here, and Happy New Year! Today we'll be making Jambalaya. So, let's get to it! How was your week? Oh, sounds fantastic! My week, my week was good! And the reason why it's so good is because it's finally 2022 and I'd just like to take a moment to thank you all for sticking with me and supporting me and cheering me on. A lot of you guys have been watching me since the beginning and I'd like to thank you for always liking my videos and leaving comments down below. They're super sweet. Let's hope 2022 treats us all well. So jambalaya is New Orleans' most famous dish and it is inspired by Spanish, West African, and French flavors. And it's basically a one pot rice dish that's smoky and spicy and delicious. And there's two types of jambalaya. There's Creole jambalaya and there's Cajun jambalaya. Creole jambalaya is also called red jambalaya because it uses tomato. And today we'll be making Creole style jambalaya. So enough of that little history lesson. Let's head to the jambalaya-ing. So the most important part of a jambalaya is its sausage. And typically jambalaya uses a sausage called and dewy sausage. However, it is not easily accessible here in Canada. So I found this really smoky sausage from Costco. Mmm, delicious. Over here I got some chicken breast. We're just gonna cut it into one inch pieces. And now we're just gonna chop up some bacon. Some nice, beautiful, juicy jumbo shrimp. I already peeled the skin off, but I left the tail intact. We got some red bell pepper. And we got a green bell pepper. And we got one onion. We have a little guest. Give her a little bell pepper. Thank you, please. Who loves her bell pepper. A big stretch. Now we're just gonna make a quick homemade Cajun spice mix. Smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, oregano, thyme, salt, and some pepper. All right, so the stove is at medium high heat. I'm gonna put some vegetable oil. We're gonna add our bacon first. Now we're gonna add our sausage. We're gonna let it cook for a couple minutes, get it all nice and brown. While the meats are browning, we're going to preheat the oven to 350. Transfer it back to the plate. All right, now we're gonna add our chicken. We're just gonna cook it until the outside is no longer pink. And we're gonna transfer. Now we're gonna add our shrimp. And we're gonna fry them for one minute. Transfer. 
We're gonna add some more oil and we're gonna add our vegetables and our garlic. Now we're gonna stir fry it for around five minutes until it becomes a little more soft. Now we're gonna add our rice. We'll stir it in, make sure it gets all coated. Now we're gonna add our Cajun spice mix, our tomato paste, crushed tomatoes. Give it a little mix. Chicken broth. Now we're gonna add our chicken, sausage, and bacon. Then we're gonna do a little mix and mix. We're gonna do a little mix and mix. And we're just gonna wait until the top gets nice and boobly. Michael Buble. We're going to stir it once more. And traditionally, jambalaya is cooked on the stove top. However, you need to know how many times to stir or else the bottom of your pot will be burnt. So the easiest way and the way I like to cook it is to bake it. All right, we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna cap it. And we're gonna place it in the oven. And we're gonna set the timer for half an hour. And as we wait for our jambalaya to bake in the oven, let me show you my new haircut. I don't know if anyone noticed, but I got a haircut and I cut it myself in 20 minutes with a pair of kitchen scissors. And now I can save a little more money on shampoo. Let's do a little snack break, shall we? Got some brie. All right, uh, let's see what we have for snack today. Oh, brie, brie cheese, my favorite. Gorgeous, just like you. Mmm. Now let's head back to the cooking. All right, so our 30 minutes is up. Let's check on it. Gorgeous! Oh my goodness! We're gonna stir it a bit. Look at that. Ooh. Now we're gonna add our shrimp. Add some green onions. Just make sure the shrimp is nice and coated in the beautiful Cajun juices. And we're gonna place it back in the oven for two minutes. All right, time for the grand finale. Oh my goodness. She is gorgeous. Turn it a little more. Garnish it with some green onions. And we're gonna add a squeeze of lemon. And we are fini. All right, so this is the finished product. And let's begin the taste test. And I'm super excited. All right, I got a bowl right here. Let's dig into this masterpiece. Ooh. 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 Look how gorgeous. Nice scoop. Got a bit of everything. All right. Cheers. First bite's for you. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. Super tender. Mmm. The celery still has a little.
crunch to it. So good. This this has a bite of chicken. Mmm. I can really taste a nice smoky, rich flavor from the sausage and smoked paprika, as well as the bacon. I haven't got a sausage yet. Let's let's try a bite with the sausage. The sausage has a nice snap to it, you know? You know when you have a good sausage? You're like, and, and then it just snaps, snaps back at you. This is a really easy recipe. Even though it has a little bit of chopping prep, you just throw everything into a pot, bake it in the oven for half an hour. This has so many flavors, it's really hard to explain. First flavor I taste is the smokiness, a little tanginess from the tomato as well as the lemon on top. A bit spicy from the cayenne pepper. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried jambalaya. And if you're from New Orleans because that's pretty cool. Alright, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy New Year.